So, you've got some questions. I'm all ears. Well, I try to look on my fingers, try to uh, to capture this movement, horizontal movement. Uh, then I try to do this. The problem is that I have this uh, little freeze effect on this changing directions moment. So the freeze might be the illusion of the boundary between the end of some movement of one direction and beginning of glissando towards another direction, yes. towards another node. And I think this is fine. Uh, we were talking about um, similar direction where Ya yeah, is just like, it's kind of blending. Sound movements should blend in the um, glissando. But with contrary motion, it's quite clear the differentiation, the difference between these two. So if I would sing mm -hmm. ah, what I imagine, let's say ah, 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 is how it would sound. So there is there is a little stop at some moment. There is almost like mm. uh, that sound and sound movement who reaches the wall and from that wall it starts bouncing with glissando to the opposite direction. Uh -huh. So when you imagine you uh, even uh, what the image can you could you please describe the image in your mind when you imagine <laughs> do you have one th this image or is just feeling just deeper sensation i wish we could I just like curious. a hundred I years curious. forward where you can just telepathically describe in words what i see and what i feel so i would say most of the time my sound imagination is based on the shadow of my singing. So if I sing, ah, it kind of gives me this direction of the movement of the sound. And then of course on the top of that, <coughs> sorry, on the top of that I would include the timbre of the sound, the quality of the sound. But it definitely follows my inner sensation of singing. Almost like, yeah, like, like this aroma of singing, yeah. So do it yourself right now. Sing one note with some movement to the right and then connect it to the next one with glissando to the left. With some movement to the right, glissando to the left. And one more time. Try also not to use your hand. I think hand might just create this additional confusion for you at this stage. Just make it with your voice. Uh, yes. Yes. Again? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I want to describe what I feel. And um, I don't I don't think this is pleasant feeling enough but I think I feel how like mm, the right part of my vocal cords when I <laughs> sing there and the left part when I sing there uh, I just I initially I am inner inwardly I have to um, I need to stay in place. I don't want to go anywhere, but still I won't feel this movement. Uh... Yes. Uh... And you're absolutely right to mention that you definitely feel it here. And that's what we're developing with this as well. Mm, the subtle nuances in the sensation of muscles in our, th in our throat and vocal cords. Like when you sing to the right. Oh, and you feel these muscles are vibrating. And to the left. 
and you feel more here. So it's like the real body sensation, like left, Yeah, you definitely feel right. that it resonates. Mm -hmm. So what we clarified today, another thing to mention, when you sing out loud, it's important that you open your throat and you actually open your mouth and you sing ah, rather than uh. mm -hmm. <laughs> Russian ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Because that will make you... Um, you, it's, it will be easier for you to feel those sensations in your vocal cords, how they change when you try to sing some movement on Visanda. But yeah, okay. so suggestion, um, it's okay to have, like you said, shove this little boundary mm -hmm. <clears throat> when you sing um, opposite direction notes between sound movement and glissando. And also maybe you should stop making this hand motion. It's only useful just in the beginning, just to help yourself kind of uh, embrace or with the word understand the idea of sound movement but at the end of the day it's just gonna complicate everything more all you want and eventually is just oh, just singing it feeling it here and then on that blueprint you can really imagine the notes you can imagine okay, your texture of strings, uh, violins, cellos. Uh, the greatest enemy of you is impatience. Because this going four bars at a time, just play with one hand, another hand, 3D motions, then singing, then do an in internal singing, then do this uh, with arm weight. And um, I definitely need to hold myself because when I start feel new sensations, new possibilities, I decide to I, I want to go further and try. Maybe I, I can do this and I and I try this and eventually I start losing this positive sensation and this blends and uh, and I frustrated. So I This need to is a very common problem. Um, mm -hmm. This is this um, desire, as soon as you grasp a new sensation, you just want to copy and paste it. <laughs> and yeah. it's great for just an initial satisfaction of feeling the difference and improvement. But if it's not fully controlled, if you don't know really strong how you did it, then you will lose it. Uh, now, maybe it will make you feel better. But um, the only person out of all my students that I had who made it all patiently, it was an Asian student. <laughs> Hi, Priscilla. So, sh so Asians, they have this discipline and they just do. You tell them and they just make it. And if it needs to be repeated a hundred times mindfully, they just do it. Next, next. So, any other nationalities and cultures experience the same? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I, I struggle with every student about that. And, um, of course, I encourage them to... Well, for some students, the best medicine is just to let them go as they go and then discover through their sweat and blood that this doesn't work. Mm. Uh, and then oh, I shouldn't have skipped that. I, I think I've, I've, I have not done this uh, enough, or you know, actually I was a bit bored with this, but now I see it was so necessary because I cannot progress. I hit my plateau, and so we start a new piece. And I was like, "Hey, remember your experience, huh? <laughs> so let's do everything right from the beginning because it will save your time." Your, uh, it will make you feel very content and also your self-esteem goes up because you know you can do it, you know. So yes, take your time and do the job. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can go on TikTok on Instagram and get your instant dopamine <laughs> satisfaction <laughs> shot. Ah, okay. <laughs> then, then continue working. <laughs> hey, quick tip, please. Sure. 
the virus well, of the century. <laughs> well, it, 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 may, it may be the cure. Yes, just yes. I, I, I definitely. Well, I practice four bars, and then I feel exhausted, and I just need to stand up and and do some couple of steps around the room. Yes, it's five ten minutes of practice in the beginning, and then you have to rest for a few minutes. And this is where you can switch to Instagram, yeah, and then back. <laughs> okay, so it's These are it's, good it's for, it's normal. for unwinding. These are good for unwinding for the pause, but then you know you come back to real work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this it's so really releasing to to hear. This. No, that's how it's supposed to be. That's correct. I'm very glad that you mentioned that. Yeah. Because I I still feel that I need to practice more. I can show you. I can show you if you want. I would like to see just to double check if there are any mistakes mm -hmm. that you didn't notice. Well, I uh, will show you the product, the product, the final product, both hands together with with holy trinity of sound uh, of uh, movements, intonation and weight. Uh, 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 that's not the holy no? trinity. Hand motion, intonation and weight is just like a one pack here. And sound imagination. So if you're gonna just play with hand motion and intonation and weight, it's one thing. When on the last step, you bring your hand to the keyboard, you land, remember? You want to avoid mm, dropping your wrist too low. So this is very common, um, but you need to try to avoid. So This is wrong. Mm -hmm. And the right. Mm -hmm. It does not drop lower than the key bed. And that's what you need to look at because if you drop like this you will have pressure here <laughs> and it mm -hmm. will be again in the way of actually simply pouring the arm weight like this that way to the instrument so mm -hmm. And another thing, I will ask you right now to play a little bit faster because mm -hmm. I think this tempo was freezing and we yeah. need your arm weight. I realized this when I played. Try it again. <clears throat> I still feel a little tension in hands, mm -hmm. in shoulders. So what I wanted to say about your head, mm -hmm. you might think that you keep it straight, but you're not. You're still going goosey goosey. So mm -hmm. uh, you will see in the video, I mean, okay, no one is perfect here. You need to get comfortable with the idea that your eyes can look more down. You need to discover the feeling. So, <laughs> I know, I know. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, you don't have to look like this to make <laughs> eyes. You can actually keep your head up and look down with your eyes. If you look at pianists, they shoot them. Their eyes are not open like this when they play. 
it's down, it's close. Look at the Arthur Rubinstein. It's, uh -huh. He's sitting straight, but his eyes, you need to get comfortable with just looking down. More, more straight. More straight, higher, higher head. Okay, sh show exaggerated high. Like, like you really want to. Okay, all right. Now put For your head a little bit, a little bit more down. Your chin a little bit more down. Or, or else, really try to make that. You know, take take the take the part of your of your hair from here, from here, and just bring yourself up. Mm. Okay, so this is like the minimum. And you see your eyes? Yes, they can look down. <laughs> I, I, I can look here, but I have perif peripheral side and I, I can see the keyboard. I'm like, okay, okay, try oh, okay, this. Okay, 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 no, 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 all right. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about like, so here is this, okay. So now you bring your chin down, but without bringing your neck down. There's a difference. Ah, it's a little bit like from that <laughs> video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get this. <laughs> now I'm the same. Very gently, very gently. <laughs> very, gently. <laughs> very, very gently. But you see what I mean? The top is still there, but the yeah. chin can go mm -hmm. down to the point where now you comfortably, well, more or less comfortably see the keyboard. Yeah, but don't do that. Don't bring your chin together with your neck. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I just feel a little. I do this <laughs> like this. Maybe. Hmm? Okay. Maybe it's also because my neck is 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 taller. It's longer than yours. My, my neck, neck is also neck. pretty pretty long. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I I. Uh, Okay. Play. So this, this is. Mm -hmm. This looks good. Look, you will see in the video. This looks good. If you play like this, you have this posture. People have respect to you. <laughs> Without you even starting playing, you know they're like, okay, it's a composed guy. He knows what he's gonna say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, so this is good. This is the posture what we want. Your uh, what, okay. about your slouched, is, uh, what about slouched? What about slouched? Yeah, your back looks back. okay. It's hard to judge with this, with the uh, sure, but it looks fine. It doesn't look mm. unnaturally straight or anything like that. It looks good. Okay, even I can even look some here, somewhere there. Okay. I can put my eyesight there. All right. By Try the way, by the way, mm -hmm. by the way, the question: Where do we look when we play the piano? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go deeper here. So we're gonna look at this red line right here. Red line, I know this. Mm -hmm. letter. The velvet. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Velvet here. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, good, good thing to train your eyesight. All right. And without swinging, yes. Yes. Yeah, so try right now to keep the the eventual. Mm -hmm. So you sit straight, but you still feel that transfer from your feet, mm -hmm. through your legs, through your back, through your arms, to the instrument like that when you play. Right. Uh, maybe it'll just do uh, You need to... Okay, okay, okay. Now that we a little bit... <laughs> relax. <laughs> now that we a little bit fix the position of your head and neck, Try to again mm, integrate it with intonation and arm weight. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Try to maybe even just sing it hornily, that, that silly melody, with that <laughs> feeling of posture of your, of, your, of your head, torso, from the neck and shoulders, your arms that are loose, and loose th uh, thighs and legs. I just do this with trust.
So if you feel now this is this this look really nice. Now if you feel that you need a little bit of more gravity to help yourself to feel free energy going and transferring through the keyboard, you can move a little bit forward, maybe like 10, 15 degrees. Yeah. It sounds better. So let's do one more time, but this time focus a little bit more on the part of the arms neck, shoulder, arm, which it absolutely loves. You can do it this now, just to lose it up. And again, this sensation is included in the, in the internal singing with arm weight. Your free wings. play I feel like my attention uh, flickering ru running 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 from one point to other point so I start concentrating on this sensation of relaxed voice and then something brings me out of it and I lose this control then I try to maybe I try again Try again, maybe singing without doing it without playing. No, no, no internally, internally, oh, okay. internally. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But feel your body. Mm, I have this seams, shvi, shvi. I just need. I want. I need to. Okay. It feels better, felt better. You get there, it looked... Um, st still, still, I feel like every time I can do this better and better and better and better. Where is That's why four bars, repeating as many times as it takes to feel comfortable here and making sure that your fingers are not running ahead of your head. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you for your patience. I, um, while I'm practicing, I realized that I, when I studied on, on my own, I a little uh, underestimated this feeling of grabbing the weight. Why we should do this first step, swing forward, and then, well, when I swing forward, I naturally I feel how the weight of my body I like starting to grab it from the from the floor so I feel my mm, foot my feet are pressing more on the floor because of my weight and this is the initial state when I start to grab the weight and I definitely I really feel like I'm grabbing it I'm grabbing it from the floor and I feel oh how I... yeah! I just want to clarify here: it doesn't, sh okay. it shouldn't provoke a feeling of you actually pressing more with your feet, because that would uh, create pressure, which we don't want. It's more like when you great, when you just naturally bending forward and just kind of like 
that whole free energy, ha 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 ha, and your relaxed throat is kind of like pouring down to your feet. You know what I mean? You need pouring. to first kind of kind of bring it down. What is, what's for Russian for pouring? Um, well, <laughs> pretty divides, pretty divides. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pouring. So you bring your weight there, and then you take it from there. The feeling of uh, relaxed vocal cords is very important. And when I managed, finally managed, I, I lose it when I try to expand it. But if I try, 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 try in a row, I finally achieve this sensation. And mm -hmm. I sometimes I feel it and it's, it's very beautiful sensations like I'm not playing, I'm singing the piano. And when I try to articulate the note, like I'm articulate with my voice when I, when I talk. And this beautiful, and then I try to expand it and this and it loose. And, I now, and now I try to dig it again and again and again to bring this sensation. So yes, it's a lot of work, a lot of body. Mm -hmm. And by expanding you mean when you're kind of like copying and pasting without copying and repeating, paste, yeah. repeating enough time to just bring that sensation deeper in your subconscious. Yes, yes. I, we cannot avoid this, uh, this hard work of... So this sensation is the result of the hard work. Is only the way. The repetition, to, yeah. Repetition, yes. And uh, when I uh, play on the piano keys, it's like I um, stepping on bare with bare feet on keys. It's like this feeling of walking on keys. My weight, very very nice. Well, сейчас I'm не заморачиваюсь when I uh, do this, and I feel this is very very easy to do this but when I try to control it of course yes I try to aware to be aware of how I do this yes it's very difficult and I need to practice more and keep doing that with a few corrections now about imagination and posture mm -hmm. let's go to positions okay